Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I've got a film review. It's a film that I watched some months ago. The film in question that I'm reviewing today is a film third in the franchise. It's been spanning quite a few decades now and it's going to be rebooted in the near future. A uh, film coming out pretty soon. Uh, the film in question, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. So the film stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, the main guy, the main Terminator, uh, the legend himself. You've also got Nick Stahl. Claire Danes and Christiana Loken, uh, I think that's how you say her name. Uh, the film released back in 2003, so it is a bit of an old film now. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's still got brown hair, whereas uh, he hasn't nowadays. This film is set many years after uh, the sequel, uh, Judgment Day Terminator 2. Um, now, John Connor is living off the grid. He has no driver's license, no sort of recollection of uh, his whereabouts. Uh, he goes from place to place. He's a bit of a drifter. So the man who leads the resistance, who saves the world against the rise of the machines, is uh, practically a hobo. Yeah, that's right. The leader of the free world when uh, the machines rise up is a homeless man. Um, yeah, he's down and out on his luck. John Connor, played by Nick Stahl, in this film, he's in his early to mid-twenties. Uh, he thinks that Judgment Day has been um, cancelled. Uh, he thinks that he, him and his mum, back in Judgment Day, Terminator 2, uh, stopped the apocalypse. They, they stopped uh, Judgment Day. No more machines, that's it. Carry on with your life. However, you've got to live under the radar. This is where Skarnet are clever. This is where they send Christiana Logan from the future to the present, which is now our past. I think that's right. Uh, so it is a bit of time travel again. You've know, you got to get your head around that. Yeah, this is where, like I say, the TX has come back. And instead of hunting down John Connor, the main threat of the resistance, because they can't find him, they send the TX to destroy all his generals. Everybody who will help him in the rise against the machines. Pretty clever, really. This is where, you know, she kills generals, people who you don't know, apart from Claire Danes. Claire Danes happens to be his future wife. She is also the first person that he made out with the day before the shit hit the fan in Judgment Day. And then years later, they become husband and wife and uh, lead the future against the rise of the machines. Hmm. There is no uh, Sarah Connor in this film. She died a few years after Judgment Day of leukemia. I suppose it's one way to get rid of her. Uh, there was no need for her in the third film, so kill her off, really. Makes sense. Then how many times in a film can you have one person running around screaming like a crazy person that the Terminator from the future is coming back to kill them all, you know. John Connor is the main guy in the film, next to Arnold Schwarzenegger. However, he's not meant to be in it, almost. He he has a run-in with a deer, he's on his motorbike. Deer comes out in front of him as a collision. And that's where um, he seeks help. And because he's under the radar and because it's late at night, the only place he can find is a vet's. This vet's is run by Claire Danes, his future wife. So he takes a shitload of drugs, is all whappy, and one of his bandages has his blood on. The TX, Christina Logan, has located where Jordana Brewster, Claire Danes, happens to work, knowing that she is there after hours due to killing Claire Danes' husband in the film. So she goes to the vets to hunt down Claire Danes. Uh, this is where she sees some blood on the floor and of course her systems go all haywire due to finding John Connor's blood in the area. So yeah, the, the action kicks off when TX stumbles across John Connor and discovers his blood. Um, you know, this is where the film kicks off. Uh, the whole romance, you know, kindles. Also got relationship again of John Connor and the Terminator. Also you discover who sent Arnold Schwarzenegger's character back from the future to their present day uh, to help him survive. There's also a twist as well as to who helps activate Skynet, which, um, but in all honesty, it wasn't the greatest Terminator ever made. Um, 
it was alright because it was one that was made in my era, my generation. But it's a 12. You know, there's no real big explosions or action. You know, it's a 12. Um, you know, it's not as good as what it was, you know, the Terminator or Terminator 2. They were amazing. Third Terminator, and for it to be a female who is um, half metal exoskeleton and half mercury uh, skin. Now it's pretty cool, you know, it's different to have a female fighting on or Schwarzenegger. The graphics aren't great, re-watching it years later. There is the odd comedy moment in it with the psychiatrist, he gets a bit of a, um, a look in again. But it's Terminator, it's a massive franchise. As you may know, there was a one released after this. <coughs> and they're also rebooting the franchise uh, this year, coming out in 2015, uh, which is great. But, you know, it's just that little bit that wasn't on on par with the other two. It was just that little bit that was an all action packed film. Um, but you know it's it's Terminator, it's alright. It's a Sunday afternoon watching that you can watch with your kids, whereas the other two you can't. So yeah, we the devoted links down below as per usual go check them out, use Toby W T D gets you twenty percent off any we the devoted items you decide to buy. But guys, thanks for watching my review of Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Uh, it's a 12. Watch it with your kids on a Sunday afternoon. You can get away with it. Not much action, swearing or gunfights. That is alright. It's bearable. It's passable. It's got a fit woman as an evil Terminator. Claire Danes. Annoying. Squeals a lot. Yeah, thanks for watching.